This is the 100 kilowatt solar power system at the public service microfinance company head office in Lusaka. Acting Secretary to Cabinet Oliver Kalawo, who visited the institution, says the system is a significant investment in renewable energy, reducing the company's reliance on grid electricity and generators. To all public institutions that this is the way to go, they should set up their solar systems. It doesn't have to be a big solar system. It can be the systems fit for each and every building, which would be manageable and which would be easy to install within a short time so that the work for government does not stop if power is interrupted. The public service microfinance company is now saving about 80,000 quarter per month, previously spent on fuel and Zesco bills. Our, our expenditure, so put in, in terms of quantum related to diesel spent, we are spending every day, we are spending 210 liter of diesel every day. So in the 20, basically 30 days, you, you can estimate about 60,000 kwacha every month. But in terms of Zesco, our consumption was uh, about 12 to 13,000 kwacha every month. So you give or take, we are spending about 80,000 as probably cited by the engineers from um, infrastructure. When we are looking at a return on this investment of five years without factoring in the value that will be contributing uh, to Zesco through the net metering component that will kick in. The solar power system will contribute 60 kilowatts of excess power to the national grid. From that 100 kilowatts, we are feeding back uh, about 60, uh, 60 kilowatts to Zesco. Now that one, the one we are feeding back, it's dependent on how the batteries have, have been charged. If we charge the batteries fast, we may even feed more than 60 kilowatts to Zesco. According to Dr. Kalawo, the project aligns well with government's policy direction, which emphasizes clean energy adoption in public infrastructure. Rosemary Kamanga, ZNBC News, Lusaka.